to a Learn Magic Trick video with Stephen Ablett. Today we're going to be looking at something very special, something using a simple red silk handkerchief. You can use these tricks for any handkerchief you've got around the house, but for the purpose of these tricks let me demonstrate a nice little classic of magic called the dancing handkerchief. With a handkerchief like so, you take a hair from the back of the neck, wrap it around the hanky, and watch as I pull it down and back up again. Down and back up again. You can even take it in various shapes until you like your other effect. And you go, and you can watch it, you can watch, you can watch it until you shake it apart. The classic of the dancing handkerchief, it's a very, uh, it's a very old trick, it's been published in numerous books, there's lots of different methods out there. I'm going to quickly describe to you one of the most impromptu methods you can use. Uh, firstly, the handkerchief itself. It will work with any handkerchief from cotton to silk to nylon. However, I have discovered that this, this is the one I like to use. I have no idea what it's made of. I'm sorry, I can't help you there. But I would try the different types because different, different types of thickness of material do have a different effect on the handkerchief. To make the dancing structure very sort of right, <clears throat> you're going to hold the napkin by the two corners. You're going to want to go down about an inch and a half to two inches on one side. So check that out. It's not actually the two corners it's down by one inch on one side this is the secret to making the, the um to making it stick up from this point you twirl it around and so you get a nice big line then you move it upright and then move your hand down if you do all that in the same motion it will stay upwards i want to just come in close and show you the handkerchief itself by holding it two inches down from the corner you'll notice it's now coiled itself upwards from the handkerchief. If you had done it from the two corners, it would be a straight edge and there'd be no coil, so it would just flop straight over. But because we have this kind of, I'm not sure, helter-skelter effect, it means the handkerchief stays upright more so than if it was just stuck straight on the corners. The illusion, as it sounds, is to take a hair from your head. I don't have any hair on my head, so I'm going to use one from the back of my neck. Wrap it around the handkerchief and then to make it move up and down as though you were pulling on an actual hair, you're going to use your thumb. Now, I'll come in close for here, but in order to, if I just show you my thumb on the back of the handkerchief here, I can move my thumb upwards and downwards to make the handkerchief move. The small movement of me moving my thumb allows the big movement of the handkerchief to move. It's a nice classic gag, and it's like used in magic in many different ways. With that in mind, you can uh, pretend to wrap your hair around the hanky, pull it down by lifting the thumb up, pull it back by lifting the thumb back down, bring the thumb all the way down and back up again. With a bit of practice, you can even tilt your, turn your hand in order to get the idea that it's moving around in circles. I'm not actually using my thumb for that, I'm, moving, I'm using my hand itself in order to perform the effect. So quickly from the very beginning for the dancing handkerchief, one corner here, uh, about two inches down on this side, wrap it around. An important part here is bring this top end of the corner to the top and slide it downwards so that it sticks on end. A couple of practice goes and you'll have it down flat. The invisible hair, down, up, down and around and back up again. And then you can play with it as an animated puppet. I usually have it hit me, and then I usually try and chase it away as it kind of flies away, and then stop it and shake it back out. A quick little illusion with a handkerchief, the dancing hanky, I hope you enjoy it.